YouTube, I am Michael James. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a really fun and simple way to draw accurate and expressive figures, just like this. Let's check it out. Welcome back to Michael James Fine Art. If you are new to this channel, I am Michael James, a freelance fine artist creating spread positivity and good vibes. Drawing is one of the most expressive forms of art out there. You can use it to capture emotions, tell stories, or just create beautiful artwork. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use charcoal to its full potential and create stunningly expressive figures. So grab your sketchbook. Smash that like, hit that subscribe and that bell so you don't miss any content. And above all, stay healthy and stay happy, gang. Let's get started. All right, today we have some figure drawing using charcoal on Bristol board or just a very smooth paper. This was completed live on a stream during our gestural Monday sessions. This was the final drawing of the day, so I believe it was 40 minutes to maybe an hour long session. This is, of course, a time lapse version where I'm just telling you my thoughts and processes. We went in first with a little bit of loose charcoal powder and toned the paper. Kind of just put a base down so we can work into something with the vine charcoal and get rid of the stark white of the paper. Then we went in with a quick gesture drawing and loose large shapes, just kind of blocking in the figure, getting proportions close, mainly focusing on the twist and positioning of her head and feet all centered and balanced. This was our 40 minute pose. So we were taking a bit of time trying to accurately lay out the figure with proportions, balance, structure, and anatomy all being correct because we were going to take this figure much further than simply a gesture drawing. So as we continue to line up all the pieces of the body part, we are using a vine charcoal, which is very forgiving. It erases very simply. You can actually just erase it and wipe it away with your hand. So that allows us the freedom to go in with a lot of marks and really find where her feet, her shoulders, her hands all should sit. This was an interesting piece because she was crouched over but her elbow was not touching the knee up top there it was actually resting a few inches above her knee and her hand was propping it up so adding to a little bit of the angle and twist that we really wanted to show we went in with some loose gestural marks for the hands and feet towards the base so we could begin getting every proportion correctly our tools for this piece were vine charcoal charcoal pencils of two kinds be it a hard and a soft um, i believe it's an hb and then just an h maybe a 2h pencil as well we use the hard charcoal pencil to make light marks and the soft charcoal pencil to make dark marks we are going in with our soft charcoal pencil and putting in our really nice structural lines we're really trying to make these confident lines all the way through as we build out the structure of the entire figure. So I go in using these hard charcoal pencils and because they are a very condensed charcoal, they put down a very light gray line. So you can actually use them very delicately for cross hatching and putting subtle grays into areas or even sketching it works great because the line is not very dark and you can erase it. Much different than a soft charcoal pencil. You can see the difference as it puts down very dark lines that are a little bit more difficult to erase because they are a softer charcoal charcoal they are a softer charcoal so they blend into the paper this was again completed live on stream we are streaming monday wednesday and friday we are dropping videos and we are producing a lot of new content. So be sure if you are enjoying the content to smash that like and that sub button, share this video or channel with a friend and let's continue creating incredible pieces of artwork together. Facial features are always difficult. So it is important to go in with vine charcoal and remain fluid and loose with your marks so that you can adjust if need be. Um, this angle 
the angle of this head was tilted and I really wanted to get it accurate. So I made sure to find my center line, continue to find the back of the skull and really carve out the head and the angle at which it's turned here. So I structured in the neck and the ear and the jaw line to make sure I had the eyes and nose angled correctly. And I wanted to go back in and finish out the rest of the figure to be really confident that the angle of the head was correct. Now again, going through and just cross hatching some values in as, as I work up to the face, through the shoulder area, and again, just looking at overall shapes and values at this point. Just like when we started, it is all about shapes. And now we are looking at shapes and values. We're going into a little bit of detail on this one because we're liking the structure of the figure. She has a really nice tattoo on her arm here, a sleeve tattoo, and we really wanted to get that in. It was a fun part of the piece and it was kind of dependent on how quickly it came together. And because we got the overall structure rather accurately, we wanted to throw that part of the, we wanted to throw that part of the figure in there as well. So now again, going through with a hard charcoal pencil, subtly shading out the values. So because it's kind of similar to cross hatching, it's more just quickly toning large areas. This is something I was going through so I could continue seeing larger shapes as well as smaller shapes as I began to put in details, such as the tattoo on the arm, the hands, the face, etc. Now we are approaching a point where we really like the piece. So we made a point to really finish out the face and fine tune a lot of the details as we brush it away and go back in with a really nice fine pencil. We uh, loved how this one came out. It was a very fun charcoal piece. Hit it with a signature and it is on to the next one. We are going to be framing this up and we'll be sure to show it off when it is framed and complete. But until then, enjoy these finished images be sure to smash that like and subscribe down below if you did enjoy this content it greatly helps the channel it greatly helps the art and until next time above all be sure to stay healthy and stay happy much love gang see you next time